Here it is, the $20 foie gras burger here at Pound. Let's do this. Let's, let's do it, we'll finish it. Can, um, we, can we finish it? I usually just take a bite or two and then I work out on my elliptical. I wanna hold ya. Manila is home to loads of quick serve, flavor packed, tasty treats. Fish balls, guac guac, calamari, and even a few lesser known ones. All right, let's get a sexy look at that. You're not a proper food reviewer if you can only eat one of something, so I'm gonna have another one. But today we're getting away from the usual street food and diving face first into some of the tastiest burgers Manila has to offer. I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful. I couldn't quite believe it, it was magical. Just kissing on the street lights on our way back home, our way back home, our way back home. Check it out, it is the collaboration you have been waiting for. The porcelain skinned heartthrob of food and travel videos. And also we have Erwin Yusuf here yeah. too. Okay, I was like, is he referring to me? Oh no, that was me. Skin? Yeah, that makes sense. That's me, that and then sense. you're you're like the other guy who's here? I'm the brown guy. And to, wait, I didn't say brown. <laughs> Hold on. Erwin's YouTube channel revolves mainly around travel and food. A lot of food. He travels to find it, he cooks it, he eats it. I mean, this man knows how to appreciate a meal. Why do you think Filipinos love hamburgers so much? We just love fast food. Um, there's a bunch of different fast food places here. Maybe it's the American influence that was here in the early 20th century. Mm. Um, but hamburgers really took over and now you're always at least 300 meters from a, from a hangover. Uh, from a hamburger and a hangover. <laughs> Either too. One. If it's me, it's both. Today we're going from very affordable to very decadent and everything in between. There, actually, there's just one in between. We're doing three burgers. Welcome to the three burger show. Let's do this. Location one and the most affordable on our menu for today. Burger Machine is a legit burger stand and native to the Philippines. And we're taking aim at their Burger Machine Classic Burger, coming in at 22 pesos or 44 cents. Guys, check it out. We're doing my concept once again. We find some inexpensive food, some expensive food, and something in the middle too. Pretty sure BuzzFeed does that, man. BuzzFeed. I've not heard of BuzzFeed. So, no. so right now we are here at Burger Machine. That's right. The machine of burgers. Correct. We can see the inner workings of their factory right here. It's made by Santa's elves when it's not Christmas. We all know the Burger Machine mascot, which is right there on a leash. Oh, did it, did it leave? I left. There was a live chicken over there. All right, this is falling apart. Tell me about Burger Machine. So anywhere you go in the Philippines, you'll find a lot of these small kind of street side vendors and stalls. It's convenient. Let's say the transportation isn't great, so you do a lot of waiting on the side of the street. And there's the chicken we were talking about. Yeah. Right there, you can hear it. <laughs> so we're gonna see what we can get for less than 50 cents for a fine Filipino burger right here at Burger Machine. Again, I'm pretty sure BuzzFeed did this like 100 times. But in the Philippines? At, no, actually, Good loophole. Today, our Burger Machine Classic Burger will start with a modest, meaty patty. The Classic Burger Bun gets toasted and topped with a creamy, tangy in-house sauce. Finally, as our burger patty has crispified, it's placed on the bun and tossed in a paper bag, awaiting its final destination. It's just the, the basic stuff. We got a patty in there, some orange sauce, which yeah. is probably something tangy and mayonnaise-y. And um, it smells good to me. It smells good, it's warm. It's warm. Which I really like. It's nice and toasty. The bread actually looks flaky. Not much beef, but at this price point, you know, you can't expect like a pound or whatever. I think that's a reasonable amount of beef. And what right. I like is they didn't try to overcompensate with bread. The ratio is good. The ratio is good. It's like a nice snack burger. Easy go-to hamburger. Should we give it a try? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. It's good. I haven't had one of these in like 15 years. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. We're covering all these different levels of hamburgers today. The point isn't to be like this one's better than this one. It's just to show the different scalability and the variant, what people are doing with the hamburger here in Manila. And at this small price point, like less than 50 cents, it is bare bones, but it tastes excellent. It's like nice and toasty bun. Yeah. I think the bun is like making it all happen. Yeah. Really nice and flaky. The beef is actually has a nice mushy, it's like a nice mushy yeah. texture. I'm happy with this. 50 cents. On to location two. Amazed with what we could get for only 22 pesos, Erwin and I head to location two, where their classic cheeseburger is coming in at 280 pesos, or about $5.60. Location two and burger two, and hidden behind us is the legendary Pink's 
hot dogs, right? Yeah. In 1939, Pink's Hot Dogs began as a legendary hot dog stand in Hollywood, California. Now, nearly 80 years later, they've exported that quick serve proficiency for burgers right here to Manila. They were legendary for the hot dogs, but then they brought their strong burger game too. Today, we're just gonna have the classic cheeseburger. It's actually one of my favorites here locally, and it's just a well-proportioned burger. I like that. Let's go eat. Let's try it out. <laughs> Come on, you got you got you, you gotta follow. You're gonna film that's, this. You have to that's follow the whole us, dude. What are you doing? That's Come the whole on. Point. Our Pink's cheeseburger starts with a quarter pound all beef patty, seasoned and tossed on a griddle along with a freshly buttered bun. After the crispification has set in, the patty is topped with two slices of American cheese. Meanwhile, that bun we were talking about is slathered with their in-house Thousand Island sauce, lettuce, tomato, and lightly seared onion. Put it all together and Dang, now that is a classic cheeseburger. This is legendary because it's like literal exportation of American culture right here in the Philippines. And we oh. gotta give them props for that architecture. It just, is handability a word? Yeah, Okay. Hand, handle, yeah. It's like it's opening its mouth and it's expressing itself and showing all that it has to offer right here. You like getting really intimate with your food descriptions, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, that's all I got. I could just take a little of that lettuce off. You think it actually serves a purpose? I don't think it's texture needed. Texture makes sense. I think texturally it does make sense, but then it does taste like Crispy water. It's crispy water. It's crispy water. Let's go for it. Oh. Wow. I mean this in the best way possible, but it has that McDonald's flavor. I like it's McDonald's. Good, no, no, it's a good thing. It means like it gives you like that childhood memory of McDonald's, but it's better quality beef, nicer bun. You know what? Enough of shooting us. Let's give the burger some attention. That's where I took a bite. Oh, did you go back to me? No, go back to the burger again. Classic mainstream cheeseburger. Easy to get your mouth around. <laughs> Handleability. It's very manageable. Thank you. Cool. How do we end this segment now? Mm, keep watching this video until the end. Maybe, please? No, listen, you gotta be like, I don't care if you guys watch this video or not. Um, we're done with the second part. We're going to a third burger, which is way uh, more interesting than this one. Uh, not, but not that there's anything wrong with this one. I was about to say, you, did, you, you already lost me, so what more of the viewers? It's gonna get even, even more decadent. Double decadence. You'll wanna stick around for that, especially if there's an ad that plays right now. For our last stop of the day, we're going all out at Pound. We're getting stuffed, but burgers are on the line, so we must press forward and move on. We're at a place called Pound. And I think we're here for one particular burger. Decadent, as crazy as we can get. Extravagant, and then just stupidly over the top. We are here for the most decadent, over the top burger we could find in all of Manila. Their 700 peso, or $14 pound foie gras burger. Plus, I'm adding an additional 25 grams of foie gras, bringing my total close to $20. But wait, what the heck is foie gras? So it's basically you're stuffing, unfortunately, I'm, I'm gonna say this, there's, you're stuffing the doctor the goose until it can't eat anymore, the liver goes rotten, it goes bad, and then that's when you harvest it. That sounds delicious to me. Let's try out some diseased duck liver. Hold on, that can't yeah. be the real outro. <laughs> I mean, let's go. The luxurious pound foie gras burger starts with a juicy 250 gram burger patty, toasty buns, and rich buttery foie gras seared to perfection. The brioche bun is topped with their in-house sauce, then with lettuce, caramelized onions, fried onions, tomato, and our meaty monstrosity. People might be wondering about my credentials as a food reviewer of burgers. First of all, it's not that like, oh, I'm an American guy, I know hamburgers. Uh, I used to weigh 300 pounds. I ate my body weight in burgers. You were a big dude. Every month. I was 240 pounds. You were 240? Yeah. Can we put both of our fat pictures up? We can put both right of now? our fat pictures up right now. Guys, look how adorable and huge we were. <laughs> all right, enough banter, let's go for it. Yeah. Oh my God, it's delicious. It's incredibly juicy. It's it just, just like... had a movement on my little tray here. Look at that, it just, it's water broke. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving birth. I like it when burgers get messy. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's part of the experience. Mm -hmm. The foie gras, <laughs> he's, yeah. He's, cho he's choking a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> it's creamy, it's buttery. But it's perfectly cooked. Like you got that like nice pink interior. Another bite with the creamy foie gras on top here. I think the bun is perfect. A little toasty and almost a little spongy to like soak up some of the juices. Definitely. Final thoughts? Um, look. You uh, destroyed that. Yeah, and I'm still, I'm coming back later for more. This video isn't about finding the best burger, but showcasing the great griddle versatility in the burger crazy city of Manila. And also to make Irwin eat at Burger Machine with me. Mission accomplished.
Get out there today and enjoy yourself a burger. Check out Erwin's YouTube channel right now to see our other video where he schools me on the best breakfast foods Manila has to offer. Well, it's all matters. about sharing, right? In the Philippines, it's all about sharing. Okay, so I'm, so I'm, cool I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get your rice, man. Thank you so much to Erwin for showing me around your hood, the walking Appreciate handshake, it. classic yeah. and natural. Check out Erwin's channel. He's a ton of cool stuff. Uh, I'm a big fan myself. I'm a bestie of your channel. What do you call your fans? Erwin, you, you softwares? The, the, I, I don't know. Okay, we'll work on that. <laughs> so we're gonna work on that. We'll see you guys next week. A peace. Peace out.